So here we are. Get to see the plants. Mango jungle. So I gotta take all the plants that need to go inside, inside, and take the ones that need to go outside in different parts. Like I might put a plant on the front. Again, now that I think about it, I can't really bring these plants in because there's nowhere to bring them in. I gotta put away, uh, or we gotta put away a lot of stuff before we can do that. Oh, look, there's more plants even here. What you drawing now, the giraffe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she and Kareem are competing who can draw better. Well, we all know who can draw better, but they're using their opposing hand. So Mariam is left-handed, so she's trying to draw with her right hand. And Kareem, show them the previous drawing. Let's see the previous drawing. All right. Oh, yo, yo, yo. So what was what? Okay, let's give you guys a second to recognize what's the animal. <laughs> Yeah, an elephant. So, Mariam, which one was your drawing? Uh, this one. So she did it with her right hand. Mm -hmm. She's left-handed. And Kareem did this with his left hand. He's right-handed. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And now, here's I Kareem's giraffe. And here's Mariam's. She said she gives up. <laughs> oh, I don't want to clear up. Look at all this stuff. Oh, you haven't even seen the half of it. Okay, so yeah, it keeps going and going and going. All righty. And there's our picture. It follows us everywhere. Follows us everywhere. And more pictures, which we didn't even put up in the last house. We really didn't even put up half our stuff. dinner broccoli corned beef um, zucchini Kareem's helping me set up the deck yeah that helps as a weight We're going to need to fill it up. It's time. And this is cabbage. So I'm going to use this area as a place to raise the seedlings and then we'll transfer them later once they start growing. And that's lettuce. Interesting. And all I have to do now is water them and watch them grow. Kenton has class and he took this out for me. He feels like the uh, brownies. So that's what we're making. Of course, I always make it a little semi-homemade by adding a few more ingredients, like some half and half. And then I'm also going to add some chocolate chips. That's a good amount. I'll save some for a rainy day.
These are pecans. I had a little leftover, I added. And then on this side, Kenton likes coconut. So this is the sweetened coconut flakes. You can use more than one clove. pepper, Korean pepper. I like to mix it in a little water first. Quite hot. Doesn't look like it, but it's quite hot. So we added the onions and garlic and what you saw was tomato. Uh, basically like you can use spaghetti sauce or you can ground your own fresh tomatoes. Um, with other vegetables and this here again is the Korean pepper paste that I just added water to it Certainly you can use fresh peppers too, but I don't have any fresh peppers and I like the flavor of this Korean pepper And you know with fish it cooks super fast. So you you want to Make sure you don't stir it too much or else it will fall apart So 10-15 minutes it'll be done and I just thought I would add some sweet peas for a little bit of color but we're not going to stir it. We're just going to let it simmer. And then we'll be done. And I'm going to cook it. I think I'm going to have it with couscous. Because couscous is fast and light and easy. And so is fish. Almost done. This brownie smells so good. But first, we gotta finish the couscous to go with the fish. So couscous is like a Moroccan type of pasta. You can see it's very fine. I'm sure most of you have had couscous before, but if you haven't, it's like a great uh, made with semolina flour and it's so easy. So it was just water and a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning. And then you add it and once it boils it kind of fluffs up. You can add um, that there's a little bit of spice but you can add almond nuts to it or you can add raisins to it. You can add whatever you want. Um, to it to give it more texture. And I'm not doing this perfect. This is just us. This is nothing fancy. Just comfort food. 
for Kenton while he studies. I haven't unpacked all my stuff yet, but I found this, so why not? <laughs> why not? Because it's so rich, I just ended up cutting them smaller into smaller pieces since we're all watching our sugar intake and it's got so much chocolate in it. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> Couscous is done. As you can see, once it cooks and you stir it, it just fluffs up. So it becomes almost like a light, fluffy rice. And I like this yellow color because I added some turmeric. Add turmeric to everything. <laughs> turmeric is very good for you and it's very pretty. The fish looks good. Look at it falling apart. Spicy tomato gravy. Voila, and we're done. Dinner is served. So we just got back uh, from cleaning the last house. It was an all day ordeal. This has been like week after, feels like week after week, but it's literally been over a week of moving. So not cooking and decided to get, Khalid felt like eating out. So we got some Thai food. Keep in mind, this is obviously the pandemic. So we can't go in the restaurant. They bring, you order. You can either order online or on your phone and they'll bring the food out to you. So this salad looks really good. It's got some peanut dressing on it. This is, I think, drunken noodles. It's got um, some big wide flat noodles with chicken. And then this is pad thai. I'm gonna use a different fork. This is pad thai. Usually we get this with Thai food. It's got peanuts on it. Uh, Kenton wanted some tofu with green beans and um, What's that? What's that? Khalid, do you know what this is? It looks like a stew. I'm not sure. What is it? Masam and curry. What, what is in it? Do you know? And then, oh, this is an egg roll. And then this is rice. It's what? Something you like? Oh, okay, cool. So that's dinner for us. We st we're almost done unpacking, but we still have some boxes. A lot of boxes in the living room area, but we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So Kenton just finished class. He had his last class for the semester. Last class for the semester. First year of law school completed. Uh, yeah, I got finals. Oh yeah, you got finals, but finals. still feel like congratulations. A little early, got finals. And we moved, as you know. So that's been a lot to juggle between the move, work, classes. Ken, you are just doing the most. <laughs> you are doing the most. <laughs> I'm doing the most. Yeah. Is it you or is it me or is it all of us? It's just life and circumstances, isn't it? <laughs> So nice to have everybody here. Teamwork, getting it done. <laughs> Almost done.
Good morning. <laughs> Last time we saw each other, we were back at the older, let's say older in quotes, because <laughs> actually this house is older, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we are getting settled. We won't show you all of that. That there, <laughs> it's still got a ton of boxes, but slowly but surely. Uh, I'm probably give you a mini tour when we're done. I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanted to show you, we were driving the other day and I said to Kenton, wow, I feel like a donut. Not something I usually buy or eat. I really don't. And the last time I ate a donut, I, I can't even remember, but this is typical Kenton fashion. I said a donut, as in maybe as a family we might get mm, five to ten donuts. He comes back with two big boxes of Krispy Kreme today and tells me that they're giving it away. <laughs> that they're literally giving it away. These Each box is 12 donuts, okay? Um, I mean, I'm not complaining because they know the kids will like this sort of stuff. He's already been eating it. Uh, he says that uh, also because he happens to also work in within the healthcare field. Uh, they basically were giving it away to anyone who works for the hospital system. So wow, 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 wow! It smells so good though. Not gonna lie, it smells good. Not good for you, but it smells good. All right. We've been here now a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just a couple of weeks. I just wanted to show you the progress I've made with the little garden. So let me back away so you can see. All right, this is gonna be a quick little, quick little view of the deck because I'm sure you're gonna see a ton of it in the future. All right, so in the front we have our edibles. This is a fig plant. This is the lemon tree. This is the little banana that I'm shocked survived. So I put that near the uh, head of the stairs. Another lemon tree. And over here, Kareem and I grew some um, vegetables. So these are going to be seedlings. I have this on the railing. Um, and you can see mine is starting to come out so I don't even know what it is anymore <laughs> but that's part of the surprise but I know I did some cabbage I did some tomatoes I did some onions honestly I don't know what's what uh, yet but we'll find out and then we'll move them so you can see my hydrangeas hibiscus I got some lilies that might come out by Mother's Day which is at the end of the week um, and this is just my favorite spot since we've been here um, you can hear the birds I have the uh, jasmine it smells amazing there's just something about being this close to nature that makes me so happy I hope I'm not making you dizzy. So the small table, which you've seen, I've had for a long time. I put a few of my indoor plants here, like the orchids, since it's under the umbrella and this fern, which I got from a nurse. Um, I got these, This, this, these are new. I have them in a little container. These are um, outdoor candles from Home and Garden. And these beautiful, beautiful roses, obsessed with them. Obsessed, they smell so good. I just can't get over how in one plant you can have pink and yellow flowers and then orange and yellowish pink flowers all in the same plant. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and then in this little area, I have a little sort of like sitting room area. Um, I have this bench next to a hibiscus and it's kind of grounded by this table another candle some cushions another umbrella and i plan to put a rug on the floor just again to center everything um, or to make it really feel like a little room 
and then this is the view from that side that is the uh, uh, door to the breakfast area and yeah it's a nice long deck um, not huge but definitely larger than the last house that we um, rented oh and then I didn't show you on this side this corner I just put um, the not so pretty plants but it's okay this is bamboo and this can create a big hedge but it is potted so that it doesn't go too wild uh, and then this I'm not sure what this is but I know it is something edible that Kenton um, planted a while back and I can't believe it went through the winter and it's coming back So off the deck, this is what it looks like. And uh, on the bottom here, it's a little bit of a mess because Kareem was trying to cut down some of the branches of the trees. Um, and so we still have to clear that up here. But there is a lot of room to have another garden, which I'm planning to do. I'm planning to have like some tomatoes and peppers because we definitely have room, um, but we have to put it where there is bright sun.